<laughs> okay, guys, so this is the first start ever. It's my first start. That's first time starting the E30. Uh, <laughs> been looking forward to this. So here goes nothing. <laughs> happiness, joy, a dream come true. Honestly, all I wanted was my 325 and we built it. It is 2023, a year we have car manufacturers producing 522 kilowatt gross irrigators. Kidney grills now occupy half the car's faces. The cars do most of the driving while you just sit in the back seat, a time where traction off is considered only for the brave. An era in which the scale of how good a car is is measured by how fast it gets from zero to a hundred. Probably Niazboza. Where am I going with this? Well, let me just get straight to it. The car that I'm talking about is loved by both young and old. Does none of the previous things I have mentioned. In fact, it is actually nothing but a box on four wheels. Probably slower than the crooked wheeled trolley a box. But hey, see Tandinjan. I'm talking about a car that was produced from 1982 to 1994 and millions of these cars were produced and we still see many of these cars on the road. Heck, I just finished building my very own and I know that chances are I'll hand it over to the next generation, which is something I can't really say about most of the cars that are being produced today. So today we're going to go out and try and find people who actually own these cars and find out from them what is it that they actually like about these donkeys. Because honestly, it baffles me, but I myself am one of the guys who love this car, but I'd rather get other people to share their love for the car. And then you yourself can also decide whether you are on this side of the fence with the guys who actually ah, truly adore this car or you are just somebody who just sees this thing as a, a box. With that said, my name is Fire and welcome to Liberable Josie Edition. Let's I'm Raiden and uh, this is my E30 Tudor. It's a painted Calypso. I'm gonna start off when we first got this car. Okay, I think it was around 2021 or 2020. We saw this car on Facebook Marketplace and then we went to go uh, look at it. We didn't think we were really gonna buy it. But then we saw it had a, it was a Tudor for one and then it had a M5 uh, seat, E34 M5 seat in it. It was, it was driving but we couldn't start it on a day so we had to take a risk there but uh, it came home and it sat around for some time. So me and my dad decided that uh, we're gonna build this car one day. So we went to uh, Calypso and we put BBS rims on it, but uh, as you can see now, we changed the rims to Alpinas. Um, okay, so why do I love this car? Um, for one, it's an E30. Who doesn't love an E30? And then, I mean, it just has something to it. So. I didn't like it that is uh, about two years ago, but one day my dad was building one for someone and then I just looked at that car and I was like, wow, this car is truly, it's truly amazing. So I started uh, developing my passion for this car. So then I decided I wanted one too. And then my dad said, okay, here's it. We're gonna do it for you. So this is my uh, Tudor E30. It's a 318. So you know, most people think this car doesn't have that much power to it, but uh, this one moves, so I'm happy with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you around the car for a few seconds. Um, as you can see, it's a 318. It's been uh, refurbished. Everything's been painted black inside. And then the engine bay has been redone. It's now Calypso. I mean, it does the job. It's not a three to five, but it works for me. So that's all. And then we painted the inside of the bond black so it can match the engine. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty clean. Yeah. What's up, everyone? Naki Naboki, Rasofola. And I'm here to talk about my, 
1990 E30 318 Max. Right, so yeah, what's the story? I bought this car, I think, four or five years back from a friend of mine. It was stock standard, different rims, M10 motor. Uh, and I think I kept it for about a year before I actually did something to it, before I did anything. So, yeah, man, the first thing I did was to obviously change the, the motor. I hoid a M50 325 from a E36 that we had in the yard. Uh, we changed the engine and gearbox and then after that then we painted the car changed the the interior got a sunroof now recently i think these wheels are not more than a month old this is the latest modification so to speak on the car now uh, this is a lovely car to have but hey yeah uh, you have to have deep pockets if you want to own one of these i'm not saying i've got deep pockets but yeah because i love the car so i have to sacrifice a couple of things for it the main problems you find, obviously you will never uh, buy a brand new E30. You're going to obviously be buying problems from the previous owner. Now with me, the valence was damaged, it was dented, uh, it had different rims, cracked windscreen. Oh, the list is endless. Yeah, but then yeah, because I love the car, slowly but surely I'm, I'm, I'm taking it to where I want it to be. Yeah, it's a nice ride. I enjoy it very much, but it's been parked for over six months. Petrol is expensive. Yeah, that's the main reason petrol is expensive. But I do check it out now and again just to stretch the, the lady's legs. Oh, yeah. If you were to be interested in one of these, you need to carry an overall when you go and view it because you need to lie down and check underneath the car because these things are notorious with rust. So, yeah, man. Uh, that's the main, main problem with these, the rust factor, rust factor. And a good project, if you are in, in for a project like this, would be the 318 base, because obviously those aren't abused. You can't really spin a 318 as opposed to a 325. But basically everything is the same. Uh, from the dashboard, everything is the same. The only difference is uh, it doesn't have uh, brake pads at the rear. It's got linings. That's the only difference. In terms of panels, everything is 100% identical. I've had a couple of offers. I've also, at times when I was angry at the car, I'm thinking of selling it. Then obviously I'd come back to my senses and I will never sell this car. Recently I almost traded for a Polo 6 GTI. I think two days before the deal was supposed to be concluded, I, I ghosted the guy. <laughs> yeah, man, I love this car too much. Yeah, that's all I can say, I love this car. Two bits. This is my baby chore. Obviously, you see them spinning every corner you, you come across, Baspina. That is something that, that actually draws you to it because, I mean, such a small car, the power it has, or it had, <laughs> rear diff. I mean, it's a, it's a good combination uh, for someone looking for trouble. Yeah, definitely. Regardless of what you call it, this is one car that many gearheads cherish. Even those of us who want to hate it will eventually have to admit that this is one incredible car that has stood the test of time. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and check the Patreon link as it will really help myself and the channel so that we can continue to bring you valuable content. Fire and out.